for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. We've been grooving through Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 and the power of God and the might that he provides us and the full armor of God, the things that we need to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. And today I just want to talk a little bit about the belt of truth. You know, yesterday we talked about who the enemy was and we identified that the enemy is the spiritual forces of evil and the rulers and the authorities and the powers of this dark world. And God has given us instruction on how we can stand firm in the in the day of evil, when the day of evil comes, and that's by putting on the full armor of God. So today I just want to talk about the belt of truth. And it's important that we look to God and God's word to find truth. Because in my opinion, if you look around what's going on in society and the purveyors of information, they continually lie to us and they do not tell us the truth. And for some reason, there's no consequences. I'll give you a couple examples. You know, when you have the director of Homeland Security getting up in front of the microphone weekly, daily for the last month or two or year, actually year or two, and telling us that the border is secure, the border is safe. But then you kind of look and you see the chaos and you hear the stories of all the illegal immigrants coming in and the way they're sending them all over the country and they're going to all these cities that have been uh, run in a way that is not looking out for the people. They're giving more rights to these illegal aliens than they are to the citizens of these communities. I mean, that right there will tell you, you can see when you stop and you look and you listen to what's going on, you can see the difference between the lies and the truth. Look at our children and what they're saying is okay for our children and things they're trying to do. You know, we have an administration that takes a, sac a sacred holiday such as Easter and dons it as the Transgender Visibility Day. I mean, that tells you all you need to know as far as where their hearts are. You know, they say these people say certain things and they say that that you know they believe in certain things but then their actions don't follow their words and they just get up there in front of the microphone and continually lie and lie and lie to us and it seems like i don't know what happened but there just seems like between the media and the administration and and the politicians both sides republicans and democrats the uniparty they all lie to us and then you got bureaucrats that are unelected and let's go to the first amendment let's talk about freedom of speech they try to censor conservative-minded, Judeo-Christian, fundamental, constitution Americans, and they say that we're the enemy. I mean, is it bizarro world or what? You know, all the things that they do, which really are a threat to our democracy, and then they point at the people who, like concerned parents who go to a school board meeting because they're concerned with the materials that they're teaching the kids and the pornographic things that they're putting in the books, and then they blast them as, as terrorists. And they, and they start hassling moms, you know, who are trying to speak up and protect their kids. It's easy to see the lies you know, the problem, in my opinion, is that we have been lied to for so long that there's a certain uh, percentage of our population that are having a hard time believing the truth because they've been told the lie for so long. And there's so many people with a microphone that continue to get up there and just tell bold-faced lies right there on the TV screen, on the radio, on the Internet. And if we don't have a grasp of the truth through knowledge of God and His Word, then it's gonna be really hard for us to maintain our balance and our stability in these crazy times. So guys, seek the belt of truth today. Look to God and his word for truth and guidance. Have discernment, be quiet, be still, hang around godly people. Stand up for the things that you see that are wrong. You know, don't be consumed so much by the crap that's on the TV that you forget about the truth of, really it's just love, you know, that's the answer. Love is the answer for all the problems. You know, 
praying for our enemies who were doing this. That's hard, man, but it's something we need to do. We need to pray for the enemies that God will find a way to, to open their eyes and their hearts to the spiritual things that as brothers and sisters, we need to stick together and have each other's back. We talked yesterday, the full armor of God doesn't have anything to protect the back. We got to have each other's backs take care of each other and we got to remember to stay grounded and stay centered take care of our mind body and spirit so that we can better love god love ourselves and love others so god bless everyone god bless america today god bless the world today lord fill me with peace love and compassion fill my family and friends with peace love and compassion fill all the earth and all the humanity with peace love and compassion god bless america peace officers out